You are going to experience making money in this video because we are talking the ultimate, the money-making sourcing machine that you can build in your online arbitrage business because this is going to be the step-by-step-by-step walkthrough with absolutely no steps skipped exactly how you can build your online arbitrage sourcing machine where today you can start to build your operations so you can really make a big difference in your life. You can potentially quit your job, you can get out into a warehouse or a prep service, you can have an online business making money through Amazon FBA every single day to whatever level that you want. My name's Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and over the last couple of years, we started in 2015, we started to build the exact sourcing machine that I'm going to create for you in this video. Then we're going to get into the computer and actually do a complete walkthrough. With I'm going to go into detail in this video where you can see exactly what you need to do. Because you want to make some money and I want to help you make some money. So that's why a part of this online arbitrage for beginners series, this is part two, if you've not seen part one with the Amazon FBA overview, where we discussed the warehouse, we walked around the warehouse, everything that we've done. Now we're digging deep into sourcing. If at any point you like this video, please hit that like button, smash the like button. The more likes I get, the more I will do these videos. And also hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below with what strategy you are focused on right now. Okay, let's begin. So I've got the whiteboard out, a, a small disclaimer, I'm not an artist, so I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna get scribbled, I'm gonna go visual, I'm a super visual person, and if you are, you're gonna be able to see this at a sort of a, a bird's eye view, a hundred miles high view of what this machine that you're creating. Because right now, this is you. You're sat right here, right in the middle, just as I was in the, in the June of 2015. I learned about Amazon FBA. I learned about online arbitrage. Buy low, sell high. And I thought to myself, this is the opportunity that I've been waiting for. And I think that's why you're here. This is an opportunity that you've been waiting for to get the freedom, to have time with your family, to, to be able to quit your job and, and not have to work the nine to five. Okay, so this was me, I'm super excited. And this over here, these are people here on Amazon. Now you don't need me to explain to you how vast Amazon is. They've got millions upon millions of customers. And these customers here, they've all, they've all got your money. They've got our money. These people here, you are probably one of them, because I know I am. I spend money on Amazon. They are always looking for products to purchase on Amazon. So what we discussed and what I shared in the previous video was this is a machine. We're trying to build a machine from sourcing okay so i drew a nice drawing right here of the three major elements of this you've got sourcing you want to get a machine with sourcing that's what we're digging into right here then you've got your purchasing okay we're going to talk about that in the next video and then you've got your shipping and ultimately what happens is is you've got a flow i hope you can see that you've got a flow of products you've got a flow coming from all these different sources I'm gonna to talk to you about 12 different ways of sourcing in this video, and we're going to set up streams, multiple streams of sourcing profitable products, and I'm gonna share with you real life examples of each of these, and how you set these up, because what you want to do, you are sat here, you, right there, wants to be happy with a flow of products coming to you every day, every single day, okay? So let's just start here with the, the bottlenecks. These are what we call bottlenecks in your, biz, in your business. If you want to grow, it doesn't matter what level that you're at, whether you're just starting out, whether you are intermediate, whether you've got a business, one of these things here are preventing you growing to that next level. The first one is time. Time. We haven't got no time. I haven't got no time. You haven't got no time. We all want more time. There isn't any more time. It's a bottleneck. Money, capital's a major bottleneck. 
You know, the more money you have, the more options you've got. The less money you have, the less options you've got. Space. You know, space is a problem. I was in my, you know, this this here, you could be right now in your home. You know, you could be in your warehouse. So we've got a warehouse now. You could be in your shed. You could be in your garage. You could be in your bedroom. You could be anywhere right now. Space is a bottleneck, okay? Unless you've got a big warehouse. Then you've got products. Products is a bottleneck. If you can't find products, it's most likely the most it's most likely the, the most difficult element of this business is finding profit profitable products at scale. And then the strategy. You may not even know the strategy. So in this video here, I'm really going to dig down deeper into ultimately give you the strategy, the step by step by step, how you're building your business to allow you to have the freedom. Ultimately, it's for you to be able to go on a holiday with your, your family, your friends, have days off with your family and friends, and this business is still running without you, okay? So you're working on your business, not in your business. If you are in this operation, it's got the potential to fail. There's something that can occur which makes it fail, okay? So what have we got then? The first thing is this is sourcing. All this here is sourcing. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking sourcing. This here is shipping. This is to Amazon FBA. So we're not talking about this side today because we're going to have the full warehouse video on that. But this is Amazon FBA. That's their fulfillment centers. Okay. And that's where people are giving you money. Okay. So we're talking here. We're building your sourcing machine. So number one, the first thing the first strategy is manual sourcing, which is known as your copy and paste method. Okay, copy and paste. You are finding profitable products at maybe your discount stores, you're gonna to go to uh, the clearance sections on websites, different retailers out there, and you're copy and pasting. We're gonna dig down deeper into that, exactly how it works, how I can speed this up for you to really, because if you've got limited time, you really need to speed this up as much as possible. Now for me, this is not where you want to be, okay? This is where you not want to be because you're not building a business at this point, you're building a job, which means to begin with, this is how I started. This is exactly how I started. There's nothing wrong with this. It's about getting started. It's about getting your hands dirty. It's about putting in that grind, the blood, sweat, and massive action tears, as I like to call it. But it's copy and paste, okay? The next method is level two here, which is what I call lists. Okay, these are sourcing lists. Now you can get sourcing lists from anywhere from 80 to maybe 130 pounds per month, okay? But these sourcing lists, the great thing about these sourcing lists is it's now the first level of an automated stream coming to you. And you can have a list. Now I, rec I recommend, I solely, I really do recommend this, that you get lists that give you a list of like 10 products all at once. You don't want to have a scenario where you are being drip fed products because the goal here when we think about the best case scenario, and I really want you to think about systems throughout this all the time, the best case scenario for you is to get 10 products all at one store so you can place one order. All winners, right? So if you think about that, 10-1-1-W, 10 stores, the 10 products, one store, all winners, okay, one order, that's you. If you're getting drip fed this, you're going to be struggling to place orders. So I recommend sourcing lists that can supply you with 10 at a time. Now you think the more you do this, the more streams you've got. So if you imagine you've got four of these, that's already 40 products per day coming to you. And we've only just started. The next thing is virtual assistants. These are assistants and they're doing manual. They're doing your copy and paste. But now what you're doing is you're actually paying a virtual assistant to work for, for you. So this virtual assistant can also find you 10 products. 
They can also find you 10 products. Now they are working directly for you. Okay, they are working for you and only you, which means that it's not quite like a sourcing list where a sourcing list, if you've got an irresponsible sourcing list owner, they can give that to hundreds of people, which is ultimately big, big competition later on on Amazon. That's a problem. If you're using a sourcing list right now where you're getting massive competition, that probably means that your sourcing list have got like 50, 100 plus members. Big, big problem. Whereas a virtual assistant is working directly for you, okay? The next thing is automated sourcing. So let's just put automated sourcing. Now this could be, you could be doing scans all the time. I'm gonna put a link in the description for a, a 10 day TA scan, okay? So um, this could be something like a TA, right? Tactical arbitrage is something that you can use to scan products all the time. There are different ones out there. Source Mogul, there is um, FB Wizard. There's, there's lots of them. I'm going to put my best recommendation at this moment in time in the description below. But this could get you another 10 products per day. Can you see now we are building this system up. We're building 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, that's 60 products per day already and you're not having to do the manually copy and paste yourself. Okay. The next one is resource pooling. Resource pooling is when you are sharing the resources that you've got available in your business. So let's say, for example, you had five virtual assistants and you shared those five virtual assistants with somebody else. Well, that would mean, that would mean something really, really quite extraordinary. You could then have an extra 10 Virtual assistants, let's say you did five virtual assistants, you shared them with two other sellers, now that's 15 virtual assistants. Now you've got a bank of 10 times 10, okay? That means you're getting now, an you've got 100 additional products coming to you every single day. That means this system is growing massively. You're getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, then another 100. That's like 160 products flowing to you every single day, okay? This is a money-making machine. Now, one thing I will mention is, of course, before you purchase them, you've got a filter, and that filter is that reviewing, it's the review and purchase stage. That is this cog here. You don't just purchase everything that's supplied to you in your business. You've got to review it as per your sourcing criteria. But look at that already. Look at this for a machine that you've got already. You've got 160 products coming to you all the time already. This then doesn't, we're going a bit more advanced at this point now, we've then got reverse searching, reverse sourcing. Reverse sourcing is when you are now looking you're looking at products that people are buying. You're looking at what people are buying. You're looking at where those, those products have been purchased from. So what you're in effect, in effect doing is you are recycling and you're bringing that back here. That's what you're doing. So everything that's already on Amazon, if you found sellers that are also doing this, you can then look at what they're doing and then that starts to supply you with different products as well. That could be another five products per day, 10 products per day, whatever it is, right? Drop the pen. The next thing is replenishing. Replenishing, super, super important. Replenishing is when you're selling product, you're making some money, okay? Loving the different colors today. You're making some money and you are selling, you are taking massive action, you are making some money, right? You are making that profit, that's what this is all about, we're talking profit here, and you are now wanting to replenish. So you've now got another stream coming back through and coming back. And now, if you're doing weekly replenishing, if you're doing, if you're doing weekly replenishing, daily replenishing, whatever it is, you've now got another maybe 10 products, okay? Can you see how this is building up? We have systems for all this, right? Out of stock. 
You need a system to supply you with out of stock products. Out of stock products are when they're winners, but they're out of stock. You need to have a finger on the pulse of exactly, you, as soon as they're back in stock, go straight away. We're sourcing like ninjas in this video, okay? There's also, there's things like bundling. Okay, bundling. Now bundling is a whole new game. It's a whole new um, element of this where instead of just doing the copy and paste and trying to, okay, this toy is selling on Amazon, now it's a winner. Now you've got a scenario where you can bundle things together. You can put you know, you know, shampoos with conditioners. You can have packs of three, packs of four. You can complement different products. You know, it is a little bit of a different strategy, but it's a way of sourcing, okay? Another thing that you can do is we're talking a little bit wholesale, right? There's wholesale. It's just been a trade show recently here. So in wholesale, you go to a trade show, you make some contacts, you make you potentially open an account, and you've now got the ability to go directly to a wholesaler, which is amazing when you think about it. You can now get pallets delivered to you. You can now go through those pallets. You can now have replenishables at scale whenever you want. That is wholesale. It's a different model, but I wanted to put it in here because it's all about sourcing. Can you see that this machine is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger? Okay, really, really big thing there. Okay, you've got a couple of others. So when we start thinking about, um, when, when this, this, for example, when, you, when you're into like hot bundling, you know, there is like the whole creation method, like you are actually creation, listing creation, Okay, you are creating different listings. So like, here's a quick story for you. In 2016, I come across a, a product that I actually created a listing for. I took the photos. It was a Shopkin Season 3 um, at the time. A Shopkin Season 3 20 pack. I was getting them for half price at Argos, which was like, I was getting them for like £8. And I was selling them on Amazon for like £33. Okay, I was making ridiculous amounts of profit, like £10 profit per item. That's because I created the listing. Now, this is, again, it is a little bit advanced. You know, it is, it is a little bit advanced simply because you're now going in the realms of, you're actually, in, you know, you, you're actually in the realms of creating listings. Something for you to be a little bit more careful of because that is advanced. Okay, so if you think about all these different things that we've done in terms of, um, in terms of the, the flow of products coming into you, the machine that you've built, you could have 10 there, you could have maybe five there, you could have maybe um, another, uh, you know, bundles, you could have maybe 10 there, you could wholesale, you could have a whole catalogue of different items. We've now got this flow of, you know, imagine in your business, you've got like, in your business, you've got like 200 to 400 products coming to you every single day. And you are now reviewing those products. You're reviewing them. Are, are they winners? Are they something that I want? If not, then they get rejected and they get fed back. Why? If so, they get prepped in part of the, the shipping process. Okay, so this has been the machine that we're, that we're going to show. We're going to go into the computer and build. We're going to go through each of these. Super, super exciting. This is ultimately the step by step. This is what we're building. So you can see exactly what actions you need to take. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so let's go through this step by step, sort of level by level, getting started and talking all things sourcing. Okay, because there's a lot to this. You got to understand the fundamentals on what it is that you're actually looking for. And I think the first thing to start with is the make or break of this business is the products. Being able to review products as per criteria to make sure that you know whether these products are selling or not. What items of information that you need to look for. This is all a data-driven business, okay? So the first the first method, the copy and paste method, this is when you're going to a store I've just clicked on something like an Argos or you're going to a Disney. I mean, Disney's got, uh, they've got 50% off right now. And you are able to 
the, the most obvious position to start is like a clearance section where there's different items available for clearance, right? So if you clicked on toys, for example, now there's going to be different elements of this where we start thinking about different tools that you need. Have you got the availability, the how you're organized, how to really streamline this to go as quickly as possible. Okay, so I'm just looking at these. Look at these items here. There's like this one is 50% off. This one's over 50% off. This one's over 50% off, you know, 30 pounds to, to 10 pounds. You've got from 60 pounds to 20 pounds. You know, there's there's a real opportunity here potentially to make some money, right? So if we was to, um, let's just click on this one to begin with. Um, and one of the first tools that I like to share is what we call this right click Amazonian search. And it basically allows me to highlight the title and click on search on amazon.co.uk. You can actually configure this to search whatever um, Amazon that you want. So there's amazon.com as well. So looking at the item, this is a um, one of these Robo Alive's crawling spiders. And you're looking at um, this, you need to find the ident identical product on Amazon, right? So another, another um, Chrome extension, okay, is what we call these, th this here. This is Amazon DS Quick View. And a great thing about this is it allows you to see some really cool information right away. So you can see straight away the sales rank, okay, the sales rank is critical. When we talk about whether we're going to purchase a product or not, we are looking at sales rank history, we're looking at price history, and this here, when we can see there's two, there's two different listings here, we've got uh, there's actually this one here as well. But you can see this is 18,000 in sales rank, also sold by Amazon. This one here is actually um, less than 7,000 in toys and games, and it's not sold by Amazon. So if we just click onto this one, we can see right away that when we look at our item, this is the first thing you need to do. Is it exactly the same product? Because if it's not exactly the same product, it's gonna cause you a problem, right? So zooming in here, you can see crawling spider, super fast, super scary, um, robo alive. That's, it's a really key thing for yourself and potentially your team one day to make sure it's the same product. So you can see it's the same product. Then we've got a 499 and then the buy box here is 790. So you can see that the buy box, this is the buy box where 80, 90% of sales on Amazon is through the buy box, which basically means when somebody loads this screen, so I've just loaded this listing on Amazon, here is add to basket and buy now. This isn't a, this isn't like click into how many different sellers there are and then having to, okay, I'm gonna purchase it from here. This is about the buy box. The buy box is determined by Amazon who they feel has the best offer. And there's many different factors that go into this, such as price, location, is it Amazon Prime? There's lots of different things that go into this, okay? So this seller right here is, um, in Amazon's eyes, the best option for me right now if I wanted to purchase this. Now, they alternate the buy box. Let's say there's multiple sellers all at the same sort of criteria, the same price, FBA, etc. You do have a scenario where you are rotating through the buy box. This is why you hear, this is why exactly why you hear people say, why are they penny battling? Why are they, you know, the why are they dropping the price? Because we can all win together by matching the buy box. So when you if you wanted to list this, you wouldn't go cheaper than this particular item, this particular person, because you want to share the buy box with them. Very, very important, okay? Then we have another tool here called Keeper. To keep is a fantastic tool which tracks history of the item, yeah? So in terms of the, the customer, the customer is not bothered about a lot of this information, so the customer does not see this. Keeper is a paid tool at this moment in time, but Keeper makes you money because Keeper allows you to see this, right? So if I was to strip this right back down to, let me strip this right back to nothing, right? I'm just gonna close all this. Don't wanna see it all. Um, it's just basically, it's just an empty graph, right? But when you start to graph some of the things that Keeper sharing with you, so what are they sharing? 
the share in the, the price history. So you can see that this has been, um, the blue line is the price history at a, a new condition. You can see the green is the sales rank. And the sales rank is a moment in time how Amazon have determined this particular item has sold in terms of the whole catalog. So right now, if you scroll right down to the additional information section, which is right here, you can see that this is right now 10,887 in toys and games, which basically in Amazon's terms, this is the 10,887th best selling toy on Amazon, right? But that's always changing that frequency of sales. Like if you think all these particular listings right here, these may over the next couple of hours, couple of days, sell more than this particular item, which means that this would then be ranked lower or higher than them. Does that make sense? I don't want to confuse you too much, but that's basically what this sales rank's doing. So as it drops down to zero, okay, which is the best, the best one is number one, number one bestseller, that's a good sign. So you can see here, we can trend this back over the last month. We can see that this has just been trending nicely. It goes up, and then we get a sale and then we get another sale and it goes back up that's no no sales because other products are selling quicker than it at a better rate than it and then it sell then it, you've got a sale again and amazon are recognizing that by dropping the sales rank okay that's our indication of this being a sale it's not a clear indication of exactly how many because it gets a little bit more difficult the more you get closer to the the top sales ranks ranges you know it's very difficult when you're at the the five the ten thousand there might be multiple sales in a short period of time okay so but it's a good indication so this is something to think about there's also a data tab which allows you to sort of see a little bit more here as well so you can see there's like um sales rank history and you can see that there's all sorts of uh averages and it's just cool, like you can see so much information. This is why Keeper is fantastic, right? It's a really, really fantastic tool. So now what we're doing is we're comparing. We can compare the 499 as well as the, the 790. We also need to uh, be aware that there is a an FBA fee calculator, okay? This is an FBA fee calculator. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the ASIN and we're going to go to the FBA fee calculator. We're going to search for it. And this is what Amazon are going to charge us if we were to sell it. So we're going to do Amazon fulfillment. And you can see this is now the fulfillment cost plus the um, plus the, the sales on Amazon, the fees. And uh, this, this is ultimately the cost of what we are actually going to be charged. Right, so you can put this in the the item price. Then you can go uh, you you can go through all this. You can put all this information in. But what we are really interested in, so like let's say the delivery to let's say the cost of goods in our case was the um, I think it was four ninety nine. You know you can really start to calculate what the the cost and and what your profit's going to be, what your net mind. There's just tools that you can do all this with. But what we're really interested in. And what the whole point of this is, is simply just to, to know what the, the fee would be from Amazon if you were to sell it, right? So in this case here, what we would do is we would go into our sourcing management spreadsheet. Okay, so we're sourcing. We are also, we're going to be um, actually capturing this data, right? So if there's a winner, you're going to want to, uh, and I'll, I'll share with you how this sort of works on a bigger scale. Um, we want to capture as much of this information as possible. So we've got like the, the name, we've got the, the ASIN. We're capturing all this. The store was Argos. The store URL, well, that's the URL that we're, we're looking at. The Amazon URL, we can take this Amazon URL. What we're basically doing is we're capturing the data about this particular item. Okay, the sell for was 790. The FBA fee preview. One thing that you need to be aware of is whether you are VET registered or not if you're in the UK. So that's something for you to be concerned about. Then we've got 
it starts to show us lots of information, right? It also starts to share, like, you can put all the sales rank data in, so we knew it was like 10,000. The last month's sales, we can, we can see that there was quite a few sales. Is it identical? Basically, what I'm sharing with you here is we are going and building this criteria out because what because you're doing this manually you can already and we can already see that we're not going to purchase this right we're not this, this is not something that we're interested in and you very quickly can know that by looking at the price 499 you're looking at the 790 that's the buy box price you're looking at what the amazon fb fee is and you can already see that there's there's no money to be made but what i'm trying to share with you here is the idea that you're capturing all this data, right? If you're doing it all by yourself, you may just do the quick check. So you might just go, no, that's not for you. Go to the next one. So this is a, a, a Nerf gun. So um, this is, so what we're gonna do is highlight again. We're gonna go to search the right click Amazonian search. It's gonna go on to Amazon. It's gonna have a look for the item. So we're looking for uh, the the particular item that we just what was the nerf gun it was a stock grade stock grade blaster so we're looking for you can see here's all the your sort of sales ranks thirty seven thousand you've got sixty one thousand these are um, nerf gun the the stock grade blasters we've also got this one here we're not interested in five hundred odd thousand you know we're not really interested in that one at all it's not it's not moving so i think what we can do is let me just open this link and open this link now you 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 can see that there's two separate listings and the two separate listings uh it, that can happen it's not something that amazon wants they only want one listing and over time they may merge together but you can see this is where the people or people that are potentially purchasing these products these are what they're looking into right so you can see here this item if i go back right if i go back over the last sort of year you can see that there's been one two three four five six seven you see the seven drops on keeper right you can also see if i go onto this one this is a over the last year it's been selling much more in demand Right, this is obviously the listing that people are going for, and that makes sense because this one's cheaper. You know, that was twenty four ninety nine. That's twenty seven ninety nine, twenty seven fifty. So the, it's obviously cheaper, right? So again, what we would do, what we're interested in is, yep, yeah, it's sixty one thousand. Definitely interested in that. You can see it's got a buy box. You can see that there's different sellers here. You can see over the last sort of month, there's been one, two, three, four sales. You know, there's. It all depends on what your criteria is. You're looking at what the, the buy box is. Uh, this, this person here is fulfilled by Amazon as well. So what you can do again, you're just sort of capturing this information. You're getting a bit of an idea on uh, what's what, right? So um, again, I'm just sort of going through this and, and talking about it as I do it. Um, but in reality, once, you are, once you've started, you, you're gonna get really, really good at this. And, the chances are you're not going to go through and do and, and collect all this information every single time because it's just it's not point it's pointless right it's pointless to if you're not going to purchase it and you can very quickly because it's just like anything once you first start it's it it's slow it take you take time and you know it takes a, a lot out of you because it is slow it is draining you can be hours upon hours trying to find this item a winning item because it's sort of digging for gold and you know here 24.99 so we're gonna go 24.99 but once you get into a flow of things and once you get going you can you can really make a um you can really make a dint out of this spending a couple of hours every night you can really get into this right and you can keep finding the tools to make it quicker you know trying to make it more optimized so you can see here at this point we're adding all this information in and we can start to see that, okay, there might be some profit to be made, right? Or obviously it depends on if you're interested in purchasing this, depending on what your criteria is, right? How many sales uh, there's been, uh, what the, the margin is, 
I recommend like you want to be looking for ideally above 50% margin ROI. If for example, um, once you get to a point where you've got lots of lots of products in your Amazon Sell Central account, you're going to want to have a, like a repricer as well, which allows you to set sort of what the 30% is. You know, that's, that's going to be huge. Um, set your minimum and then sort of set and forget because once you get going, all these buy boxes are always going to change. You know, these prices are always going to change, which means it's, that's a problem to us because you can then drop out the buy box. You know, so if you look at all these, if I click onto all these sale, sellers here, you can see this person's got the buy box, but this person right here who sat there at $32.99, not making any sales, he may well not have a repricer on, or that's his minimum. It all really depends, right? So it all, all really depends on where he's at. But if that is within his range and he's not got, if, if he's not got a repricer, it basically means it's not, he's not dropping. Okay, so you sort of get my point on what I'm trying to make here. You're going, you're going to do copy and paste, copy and paste. This is ultimately how I started. This is what I was doing for a long, long time. I was going, and it's amazing how you start to get an eye for things. So I haven't done this for a long, long time, but you're like, once you get going a, a week or two, you're like, hmm, that's Nerf. Nerf's always winners. Okay, you, you sort of you sort of get a real hang of this and you, you start to make it a lot quicker by using the different tools, etc. There are analysis tools, etc. out there. I'll share with you um, the, the best sort of analysis tools and everything in the description below. Okay, so that is the first option, right? We mentioned the copy and paste. This is what we're doing. So in this case here, like I said, um, $11.99, this is now... Oh, it's quite interesting. Look, we've got we've got seventeen thousand, but then Amazon are selling it. You know, the problem you've got with something like an Amazon selling an item, it's completely up to. For me personally, I stay away from competing with Amazon because they can just destroy you, or they may not even share the buy box. In this case here, funny enough, I just happened to look at it. They are sharing the buy box twenty two ninety eight. You can see if you click onto the buy box, this little pink dot. You can actually see that it, they are sharing the buy box because the buy box is by third party. Whereas, you know, the then, yep, third party, third party. You know, so in this case, Amazon are sharing the buy box, which is interesting. Sometimes they don't. So this is something to be aware of, okay? So that was one of the options. Um, another option is uh, we, we talked about sourcing lists, okay? So this is something quickly to share with you. Sourcing list is when you get a a bunch of products shared with you in one sort of go, right? So this is a full list of products being shared with you at once. This isn't like a flow. This isn't like one at a time. This is a bunch, like a full a, a, a slab of products. Here's a list. And the great thing about a list is you don't have to do the things that we've just done, like the copy and paste, right? We don't have to do that because um, this is be already being done. Okay, this is already being done and it's supplied to you. So let's say, for example, we found, I've just clicked on one of these here. Uh, let me just uh, re refresh this. This was like an, an elf, uh, an elf matter ma magic. You can see this is five pound, but it's, it's three for two. Okay, so these are different deals that you can have on. So for this, you could get like, um, you can get three for 10 pound. So it's like 333. All, all, it obviously depends on whether you are VET registered, you're claiming that back or not. It's there's a, there's a whole lot involved, and that's why we use spreadsheets and things, and and potentially even software um, to to look at all this. So you can see here, you can now get one for three thirty three, and now it's selling out on Amazon for for ten pound, right? So there is potentially profits to be made in this. Again, you're looking at something like a keeper to analyze the different tools to analyze. Uh, which you can click on in the description below to get access to. But you can see that we're analyzing to see what's going on. And a sourcing list, you've you've now been supplied 10 products per list. So you can see how quicker that is. Going back to trying to get it up to sort of like, you know, the 200 items coming to you per day, and now you're processing, this is a, an amazing thing, right? And this is one, I'll put a link to this sourcing list down below. And you can see, um, you can put different losers, you can put why it's a, a loser, different products. 
this all sort of shoots onto different pages and you can start to really see what's what. Okay, so that's that's one way of going to that next level, a sourcing list. I think the great I, there's pros and cons to them. Obviously, depending on what you're using, depending on ultimately who you're going with, the, how they're presenting the information, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a lot to be learned here. The next one is virtual assistants. Virtual assistants, where you're hiring virtual assistants to do the the sourcing for you. So they are going to you know, they're going to these stores for you and they are searching on your behalf. Exactly the same as what we've just done in terms of the manual sourcing, but now you've got virtual assistants doing it for you. And the great thing is about virtual assistants is you can hire them um, for uh, from places like the Philippines where their, their wages are a lot less than here in the UK or the US. And, you know, they, they're very, very great working people, they're, they're very, very responsive. If you get them trained right, if you work with them right, there's lots of things we can go involved in there like team performance, training, onboarding. There's so much involved in that, which I'm not gonna go through right now, but that is an option to you, okay? Fantastic, I'm gonna have links in the description to all that as well, to so you can dig more deeper. If you fancy a team of virtual assistants working for you, then it's this is ultimately how I, developed my business. We went from you know toys and games to um, health and personal care and beauty to groceries to kitchen and home to sports and outdoors to electronics. We started to expand, right? The next one was then an automated sourcing. So just clicked onto here, just so you can see, just to get a bit of an idea. Um, here, what this basically, what this does is you've got the ability to um, scan different stores, right? So if I'm just gonna go onto the, the product search here, you can see here, once it's all sort of set up, you can decide what what um, store you want to search. So let's say, for example, I'm just gonna go into the, the, the Argos again. Um, you click on that, it then says, there's an easy bulk feature. Okay, so I'm just, for the, for the sake of this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to just add it all to bulk, right? Going to select all. I'm just going to add all to bulk. So what this does now is it's uh, bulk the, the all the categories in in Argos. Or you could dig down deeper, right? If you wanted just to appliances, if you wanted baby nursery, it's completely up to you what you wanted to do. So let me just clear this. Let's say I just wanted to do toys, right? And I'm just going to deselect all. I'm just going to click toys and then add to bulk. What it's done, it's just done the, the toys category, 168 categories out of the 500 max. Then we can have different filters. You can you can set these filters up depending on what you're doing. There's different source price adjustments. There's You can remove different items, what it finds. There's, there's a whole lot of things that you want to, uh, to think about. You wanna test different filters. You want to really try to optimize this. It's not perfect by any means. There are mismatches. There are issues that might find different things. But what this is ultimately doing is allowing you to scan, right? So you press search. And what it starts to do, it starts to search all those all those um, categories, all those uh, lists on that website automated for you, right? As per what your criteria is. And then we can go into the detail of exporting, you're putting it out onto a spreadsheet. So we've got tactical arbitrage spreadsheets to allow you to, the great thing about this sourcing list here is it, when you export this information, we've got like this analysis here. So as soon as you export things and put it in an import into a spreadsheet, we've got like an analysis that sort of shares with you exactly what the issues are, what it's, if it's happy, if it's not happy, based on the, the sheet setup criteria, right? There's there's a quite a lot involved in it because we're talking quite advanced and you're building your business up towards that, right? To the point where we've got like a sourcing performance dashboard. Once this starts to fill in, you start to really see what your average selling price is, what your average margins are, what number of stores that you get in, the average buy falls, the items sourced so far, it starts to trend things. It's really, really quite comprehensive, okay? So that's another way of doing it. 
Then you've got this idea resource pooling. So imagine now you've got these sourcing lists. You've also got, imagine you've got, um, you've got virtual assistants doing this for you. You've got tactical arbitrage or you've got an ultimate sourcing doing this for you. And now you've also got virtual assistants in different categories. So this is like health and personal care. You've got different virtual assistants supplying you with items as well. And in terms of a resource pool, you've got maybe access to 10 other people's. So now you've got a huge amount of processing to do. And that's why the next video is really about the, the reviewing, what happens next, etc. cetera, um, because you can really start to systemize this business, okay? A few things to talk about. You've got things like complete savings, which is like minimum ta uh, um, cash back, like you've got like a 10% cash back. So for example, you place an order, you are multiplying things, right? So you've got like, Let's say you get that 50% off at Disney, right? So if I click on to, I think, I think Disney had 50% off, which I don't think I've got the window open anymore. But um, you got the 50% off Disney, then you've got something like a, a top a top cashback, right? Which allows you to also have different cashback things. So let's say it was a Disney, right? You can just quickly search for it, Disney. And what it'll do is find that particular, um, it will find that particular store. So here we've got um, Disney Shop, 6% cashback here right now. Um, what you'll do is just click on get cashback now and it will open the website. So now you've got this potential where you are, uh, you've got the 50% the off Disney, okay? So up to 50% off. You're now then gonna get that 6% off as well, a 6% cashback, which is maybe the, the complete savings. You've then, if you're using such at something like a, um, a a bonus type credit card, right? So uh, obviously you're gonna have to do your own research on this. But if you go to lifesuccessengineer.com forward slash Amex, okay, American Express, lifesuccessengineer.com forward slash Amex, this is a referral link for um, American Express. And this basically allows you to this is a business platinum card. And what a business platinum card does, gives you lots of different rewards. So you can, if you used to use that link, you used to, you'd be able to um, get that membership points reward. You'd be able to, you basically get 40,000 reward. This gives you lots of different, there's, there's so many different benefits from travel, lounges, uh, you can get money back. There's so many different things you can do at this point. Uh, free lounge access, uh, really, really useful. Airport, I, I love the airport lounges, I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love it, so do check that out as well. And what you're doing basically is you're compounding all this. It's a big snowball. You are finding products, you are very quickly reviewing products, right? You, you're very quickly reviewing products to see whether you want to purchase them or not. You're, you're basically being super organized when it comes to the, the spreadsheets, so you're getting really, really organized in terms of your sourcing, and you, you've got a huge supply of products coming to you all the time, right? So this, this is why this is an online arbitrage, this is why it's a sourcing machine. There's so much involved in it, there's a lot to talk about, and you do this step by step by step. I'm sort of sharing this after four years of working and building this. This didn't come overnight, these spreadsheets didn't come overnight. This was really just a, a work in progress over time. Okay, so um, then the next things that we haven't even spoken about is sort of the replenishing when we start going into what you're selling, how often you're selling. Um, there's, there's so much to talk about there in terms of rate of sales, different tools that you can use. Uh, the profitability of things we've not even spoken about like different tools out there like your financial management tools i'm going to put all links in the description below some of the tools that you may want to consider this like i say i'm talking about a lot of different things here but the truth is you want to continue to build your system and continue to work this out right so you've got sourcing products going on all the time whether that is um you know, we haven't even touched on wholesale. So there's like, there was the autumn fair. That was just recent, uh, the autumn fair. This is wholesale when you are going to different suppliers. Um, that was not right. Let's go to the next one is spring fair at the time of this recording. Let's go to spring fair. 
So the next one is the uh, the spring fair that's going to be coming up around about February sort of time, uh, where you'll be able to see different um, you'll be able to see different suppliers, wholesalers that may um, that ultimately you may build a relationship with, open accounts with. There's there's so much involved, right? And then like from a I just share with you this um, from a prep service point of view, I'm going to have a whole. I'm going to have a whole video on uh, the prep service and how that sort of works in terms of if I just go into the gallery because I like to share the gallery because I believe in capturing uh, the, the moments. I believe in capturing the hands-on, right? So over time, we've been super hands-on from the home to uh, getting out into the warehouse, um, really getting hands-on, making the boxes, shipping the boxes through UPS all the time. And we've tried to share that throughout our journey. So we've got like an Instagram account for for all this. So you can see behind the scenes on our Instagram what we're doing all the time. But you can see this is basically how how it works. Okay, so uh, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you like this video. Have I gone through a lot? Have I gone through it well? Um, really get started for yourself because at the end of the day, this is... Ultimately, you start on one sourcing strategy, you start with one and you build that up into a system. You build that up into a system. So like the sourcing list is a system. It's being supplied to you every single day. The In terms of like the senior assistants, uh, which we're going to talk about in terms of reviewing and doing all, the, all this manual sort of work for you in here, you can have a virtual assistant do all this for you, a part of the system. You've then got potentially the, the need to start doing the, the prepping, the boxing, or you've got a team involved. That's a part of this as well. You've got that cash back. That's a part of this as well. You've got the bonuses when it comes to the additional bonuses that you get from cards that you use. That's a part of this as well. You've got the tactical arbitrage scans. Once this is finished, you're going to want to review. You're going to want to do that as quick as you possibly can. That's a part of this as well. Other things that I have not even mentioned is like voucher codes, you know, discount codes. You're looking at different discount codes. Uh, you know, you can just do Google search for discount codes. If, for example, you wanted to set up a, let's say things are out of stock or uh, you're looking for the best deal. So you can see on, on Disney, you know, on Disney, we, I think we worked out it was, it was a uh, 50% off. You can set up an email address to, um, be on their email list for all the different stores and you know and they'll just email you if something was to change or you can do something like a let me just let me just do this and show this to you as well you could do something like a, a visual ping.io right you can enter the website you press go and you might be wondering what this is now but what it's doing it's monitoring web pages so we don't have to so if, for example, something's out of stock and it says out of stock, you can put your email address in to notify you if it's back in stock, or you can visual ping it to see if this homepage changes, notify me. It will say, send notifications to your email address right there, and you can go in advanced. You can go how advanced you want it to be, the visual compare, you, you want it to be a tiny change. You know, there's so many different things you can go involved in this. You could give the... The, the name a job, um, the job a name. So for example, you could do like out of stock list and you can send it to your email address and you, you can really build this system up so your Amazon business is just flowing every single day. So um, I'm gonna end this video. It's been a bit of a long video. I'd love to, I'd love for you at this point to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and comment down below if you've got any questions whatsoever, what's been your best part? And if you're at this point, let me know because I'd love to give you a shout out by putting massive action, hashtag massive action, because that's what we do. We talk all things taking massive action. And once you've got this into your automated in your, your machine with sourcing assistance, virtual assistance, senior assistance, you've got um, prep service, this is really a business at scale. You're going to you're going to wholesale, you're going into pallets, you're doing all sorts of amazing work, and I wish you all the best. My name is Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com, inspiring you every single day to keep taking massive action. Ultimately, my goal, my mission is to inspire you to take action, and I hope I've done that. And let me know 
by that thumbs up button. Take care, keep taking massive action, and I'll speak to you very, very soon.